Hi everyone, I just wanted to take a few minutes and update you guys on what's been going on with seminary this semester. This fall semester has definitely been my most challenging semester of seminary so far. I have three classes going and two of those are languages. I have started Hebrew this semester, so I'm in my first semester out of five that I will ultimately take of Hebrew. And I spend two or two and a half hours every morning working on Hebrew. So that's Monday through Friday. I work on this five days a week. I do give myself the weekends off from classwork, which is just a much needed break because during the week it's pretty intense. It's all morning, it's all afternoon. And it has been very rewarding learning this language. It's challenging for sure, but it has been very rewarding as well. So I'm in my 10th week with Hebrew and I am in my fourth Greek class this semester. I'm in an exegesis course. We are doing exegesis work in the book of John and we had about a three chapter range towards the end of the book of John. All of the resurrection and post-resurrection accounts in the book of John and we could choose a passage from anywhere from within those three chapters to do our exegesis work on. And exegesis is a pretty complicated process to try to explain in a nutshell, but you are basically working from the Greek text in your Greek New Testament. You are establishing what you believe the original reading was because there are a couple of discrepancies. These aren't huge discrepancies that change the meaning of the text, but there are um, omissions of some words in certain manuscripts. There are additions of words in other manuscripts. So you're working through that kind of thing. You're establishing what you believe the original text was. And then you're doing lots of library research, especially primary source research on this passage. So you're looking at in the text issues, like the structure of the passage, where the passage falls in the book of John, you're looking at behind the text issues like historical, cultural factors that would play into interpreting this passage in its original context. And you're looking at in front of the text issues, which is the history of interpretation of the text. So I'm looking at what Augustine and Calvin and Luther and the like said about my particular passage and specific verses and concepts within my passage among other things. That's, that's a kind of a nutshell version of what exegesis involves. Uh, it definitely involves more than what I've said here, but it is a lengthy, very detailed process, and it feels like climbing a mountain, especially when you've not done it before. So this semester has really challenged me uh, to learn how to rest in the Lord while I'm climbing this huge mountain. It sounds kind of like an oxymoron to rest while you climb a mountain, but that's really the place God has had me in. Just holding on to the Holy Spirit hand in hand, taking things one day at a time, and refusing to allow myself to get overwhelmed by the amount of work that's involved in this exegesis class, especially when it's combined with the other two classes I'm taking. So even though it's been a very challenging semester, it's been a restful semester, and that has been only because of the grace of God and the work that God is doing in me personally. So it has definitely been a journey with the Lord over the last two or three months, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And my third class is my preaching class. I take two preaching classes as part of, as part of my MDiv program, and so I'm in my first preaching class. I will probably be taking the second part of all three of these courses in the spring. So this preaching course is teaching me some basics of speaking and reading my audience and taking a passage and doing some exegesis work and actually getting at what the original author was saying to the original audience and then being able to apply that today in a practical way in a sermon. So I spoke for about five minutes, no, it was 10 minutes, our explanation exercise last month when I was up in Charlotte for my preaching course. And it was more of a lecture. It was an educational kind of talk, not a sermon. And in 
five days, I will give my end of the semester sermon on my birthday, actually, on my 29th birthday. It just so happens that my preaching class lands on that day. And so I will give my sermon, which is on Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. And that will be around 15 minutes. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. It's kind of cool that it lands on my birthday. So I'm trusting God to walk me through that and that it will be a great experience. But I just want each of you to know, especially those who are supporting me through the partnership program, I want each of you to know how much you mean to me, what a blessing you are to me, what a vital role you're playing in this season of my life in seminary. And I just wanted everyone else to know what's going on with me in seminary. Uh, life has been so busy, I have yet to do my usual handwritten cards that I do every semester. So I'm hoping to be able to write you guys in the next few weeks. But in the meantime, I thought this video would be a great way to get you guys up to speed on what my life has been about the last few months and how seminary is going.